Hello everyone, it's Marek here from my travel and photography website barphotos.com and in this video I want to tell you more about selecting mountain boots, walking boots because there's not much choice when it comes to videos with recommendations and things looking for. Oh, most of the stuff online is just reviews of different kinds of boots and shoes and so on. This will be a two-part video. In the first part I will tell you a bit more about more a basic choice for boots that you would use when walking the hills if you don't want to spend too much money as well and in the second video I'm going to show you some more specialized mountain boots so the first video I'm going to focus on some mountain boots that could be used during the summer but also in spring and winter potentially in the winter uh, spring and autumn and potentially in the winter as well but these will not be suitable for adding crampons if you want to do some walking in steep terrain with in snow or ice. Okay, they just walk in mountain boots. Okay, but they might be really really sophisticated. Okay, so and then in the next video I'm going to show you the ones that you can add crampons to. So they are four seasons mountain boots, very robust, very well made, and can be used anywhere, any time of the year. So let's have a look at these ones first and I'll show you some options for a budget, low budget or something a bit more sophisticated. So let's have a closer look and on these boots here. Some mountain boots in here and just so you know, just so you are aware, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies, I'm not making any money from them, it's just some boots I picked up. So first of all, say you own a budget. You want to buy some walking boots, you don't want to spend too much money, what should you go for? Well, I'll probably say just buy boots like that, they're made from material, but things I would l be looking for are make sure they, well, ideally if they're waterproof, this would be ideal. So these ones actually are waterproof, it says waterproof in here, so these actually seem to be waterproof. There we go. They're also quite well made. But, just so you were aware, these boots actually were bought from one of the high street supermarkets. Okay. They were just on offer. They cost, I think, about £20 here in the UK, or maybe £15. But, they're waterproof, and they really are waterproof, because I test them, you can see, I've used them quite a while. They're quite well made. Now, the back, make sure the back is quite firm here, because this is going to keep the back of your feet, and the ankles here as well. So this should be, this won't be rigid, really, because they're just uh, walking boots, really. They're not really mountain boots, they're more walking boots. Just something to be aware of. Okay. Also, have a look on the, on the, on the bottom here. This has been used for a couple of years now, so it's, it's very well used. But otherwise, they're really well, they're very comfortable. Uh, make sure buy um, high boots, so they protect your ankles really well. I wouldn't buy the short ones. Not for the mountains, no. For walking in the park, yes, but not for the mountains. You want to make sure that your feet are protected. You want to make sure they protect really well. So, and they're just 15, 20 pounds. Maybe even less. I can't it wasn't definitely less than twenty pounds. Now, if you want something more robust, something better, something that will be we can use for years to come, then you want to invest in something that's not just waterproof, but also something that's really waterproof. So, for example, if possible, I would recommend getting boots that will be made from Gore-Tex, like these ones here. This is Gore-Tex. Okay. Here on the top, it says Gore-Tex. These are actually made by Backhouse, one of the rather well-known British companies who have been making boots for many, many years. I uh, can't remember what the model is, but they're really well done. They, they're much more firm, so this doesn't bend as easily. And the back is also really well made, doesn't bend that easily either in here. So they're really well made. They're fully waterproof because they made from Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex is the best material, the mo well, the best, the most uh, waterproof material that is. So you, your feet are fully protected 
and it's just a Gore-Tex mesh in here really and they weren't that expensive I think these cost well they normally cost about a hundred pounds but hundred pounds for fully waterproof and breathable at the same time Gore-Tex boots is not, it's not much money because remember these are fully waterproof and fully breathable as well because this is Gore-Tex Gore-Tex is amazingly waterproof and amazingly uh, breathable as well there are some other materials on the market from some other companies that are waterproof and breathable but as I was chatting some of the guys in one of the outdoor stores they mentioned that where the where the other companies reach the maximum of the waterproofness that's where Gore-Tex actually starts <laughs> so Gore-Tex is way above because depending on the on the brand that uses Gore-Tex materials it just skyrockets through the roof so if you want something that's the best and you're happy to spend a bit more money actually these well quite often you can find some boots on offers so for example I bought these ones for 60 pounds the way it's kind of from 100 to 60 pounds and they're amazing when it comes to brands I would personally recommend something that's well known because you get the quality of the material as well the quality on how they made so these are made really well because it's Berghaus look at the attention to detail the way they made some other brands I may recommend would be Scarpa I've had some Scarpas in the past I'm actually making a video about some another Scarpa boots as well and a Solo makes very good boots or Mindle that's a number of brands but the ones I've used and the ones that have always been amazing for me were the Scarpa and Backhouse. Backhouse is UK uh, Scarpa is Italian and they're really really good boots okay any questions let me know post some comments I'll be happy to answer and I'm going to make another video with four season boots because these were more like three season yes you could use them in winter but because of the sole because it bends slightly they're not suitable for attaching crampons if you use them but if you don't use crampons if you just walk in even in winter this will be perfect and they keep your feet really warm because they breathable but they don't put any wind inside okay hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching i'm marek mulajic from marafotos.com and any questions let me know hope you enjoy it